going on, YouTube? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Monster Legends. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out with me today. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright, peeps. Rebounding from earlier, our horrible, terrible, dastardly loss of death. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about the team race. Because it's new-ish. It's been out for a few hours. But tips and tricks, because some things have changed and some things have not. We are currently in fourth. Moving on up, peeps. It'll happen. Anyways, lots of nodes that come around. A few tips and tricks you guys might need to know to help you get through them a little quicker and maybe not screw yourself over on accident. So, number one, ranking monsters. Now, Rathy made a stupid mistake earlier, and you'll see that when we go to the rank-up screen. I'm a retard, okay? It happens. Sometimes I brain fart. We had a common rank-up deal, and I threw my uh, Thunder Eagle in there because I was like, oh yeah, I got, I got enough to rank up Thunder Eagle because I'm retarded. Okay, it happened. Anyway, so it's like a two-hour rank up, which is very stupid because when you when you get ranking um, nodes, if it's ranking commons, uncommons, or rares, you always, always, always want to rank up a Treezard, a Fire Sore, a Greenosaur, or a Pandakin because those are the four fastest rank ups in the game. Obviously, Treezard and Fire Sore are your commons, Greenosaur is your uncommon, and Panda will be your rare. It's quick to breed them, quick to extract their cells, and it's very quick to rank them. So that's who you should be ranking with. Do not pay attention to retarded Rathy here with his Thunder Eagle in the deal. So, with that being said, the breed and hatch. Um, you should, if you are a wise man, not like me, don't have your thing clogged up with eggs, which I currently do. Hopefully in a day that'll be a, not a problem anymore. And have both your breeding mountains open. This will help you breed much faster. But when you get the quest for breeding, um, commons, stuff like that, uncommons, rares, things like that, or hatching, when you got to hatch a bunch of eggs, doesn't really say what rarity it needs to be, you're going to want to breed Treezard and Treezard or Firesaur and Firesaur. Because this is going to give you a um, 15 second breed for Treezards, 15 second breed for Firesaur, so you can hatch your eggs very, very quickly. All right, now, when it comes to um, breeding uncommons and rares, obviously, same thing as the ranking. You're going to want to be doing Treezard and Fire Sword to get Greenosaurs and Panikins. 30-second breeds. Can't really go wrong there, peeps. It's going to make the game much easier for you. Now, the big nasty nodes. We don't have one right now, I don't think. We do not. But there are nodes that come around that says you have to breed or hatch epics. I don't know if there's a hatch epics. I know there's a breed epics. Okay, so... Last time, in the last races before this, um, not all epics had the same breeding time, which meant it was best to target Dragonian Beast. So you could get a four-hour breed time on, a on an epic, and it was, like, super nice. It could make the nodes go much faster. Well, in the last update, um, Social Point patched that, and now all epics have the same breed time, or I think it's very close to the same breed time. So the new best monster that you can be breeding is going to be... I don't know if you can see it. It's a Mushu. Surprise, peeps. Mushu is the best one you can breed. Now, why? Well, Mushu is breedable um, <clears throat> very easily. It's Mersnake and Rockilla. I, re I suggest you have two sets of those. So two Mersnakes and two Rockillas to be breeding. Uh, there's only two results you can get from this breed. That's why it's so good to target Mushu. One, this rock is driving me nuts. Two, just kidding. Two, so the first thing you can get is a Gasto Squish. It's an uncommon water and earth with a two hour and 30 minute breed time. So it's a very quick turnaround. If you get the wrong breed, you've only got two and a half hours to turn around and breed again. And that's what's great, especially with your breeding guardian activated, which I highly recommend. If you're the guy going after the breed five epics, breed seven epics, breed nine epics, you almost have to have that breeding guardian going. And let's be honest, you'll probably just gym that node because they suck. But um, the second outcome is obviously going to be Mushu which is a one day, I think one day nine hours or one day 12 hours. I can't remember, to be honest, peeps. But that's what I'm saying. You have only two outcomes that can possibly happen. The Gasto Squish, which two hours, 30 minutes, you're done with it. And then the Mushu you're actually looking for. So um, Breeding Guardian, very important for those nodes. Um, sometimes you may just have to gym them because, let's be honest, they kind of suck. All right, now, another little tip. When you log into the game, do not do your normal daily ritual. Like, I usually grab all my golds, all my foods, all this stuff and things, because I just do that. It's normal. It's habit. Don't do that. What you want to do is you want to jump into your race, and you want to see what your team is on. They may be on a, a collect gold node, but somebody in your team may already have four or five million gold collected towards finishing it. Now, if that happens, and you collect all your gold, what you've done is you've ruined your teammate. <coughs> mm. Ugh. What you've done is you've ruined your teammates' 5 million gold. 
he's already collected five million toward it, but you came in, got online, and finished it and said, and, well, and finished it before he could. Now what that does for him is it sets him back. So then maybe the next node that comes around, there may be another gold collecting node back to back. And since you took the gold he already had and yours, now your team's at a disadvantage. Now you're going to slow down a little bit because you got to wait for someone else to come on and get gold. So always coordinate with your team. Make sure you're talking about who's getting nodes and stuff like that because it can very much help you get higher in the race. Um, I'm not saying we're the best at races. You know, we don't spend heavily and stuff like that. So we don't get, you know, first place every time. Last race was our first race ever actually in the game um, as a team, and we pulled third, which I think is not bad. It's not bad at all to get third as your very first race. So that's what we did. <clears throat> Anyway, obviously the same thing goes with your food. There will be nodes for collecting food. There will be nodes for feeding monsters with food. And before you do those nodes, make sure you're checking with people to see if anybody's already got a lot of progress towards that goal being finished. Because if they're very close to finishing it and you start it, you may burn through all your food without noticing someone else already finished that node. And what that means is next time that node pops up, you may not be ready for it. So like I said, peeps, always, 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 Check with your team, look at your race first, go to chat, see what's going on before you start collecting things and doing stuff and you'll see a gigantic increase in how well you do in races. Um, races are obviously a team thing, they're team races. You can't do it by yourself. Um, so definitely make sure you're talking to your teammates and you will see a giant increase. Now with that out of the way, let's check out the rewards, just because, right? We're already here. Buro Tagore, Buro. That's actually like a donkey in Spanish, I think. Buro, I could be wrong. But anyways, so Buro de Gore, he actually seems pretty decent. I checked his skills out the other day, and to be honest, I can't remember what they were, but he seemed pretty good. I think he had a quick sand move or something like that, some heavy damage moves. He was pretty solid. Um, also, winning first, you get 60 Elementium, which is pretty sexy, and you get Krampus. Now, also, you'll get Krampus for all the way down to 4th or 10. And Krampus, if you don't know, Krampus, Krampus, I don't know. Krampus is a really good denial monster. Um, he's a really good Dark Denial monster. He's not bad to have at all. So he's very fast, and so he's definitely one you want to at least make sure you're getting into 10th place in this race, because you don't want to miss that guy. He's pretty good. Then you get an epic down here for being in 11th or 20th. It's kind of a consolation prize for saying, hey, you know, thanks for showing up. I don't know much about Bjarni. Um, sounds a little bit like Barney, and I don't like Barney. So, whatevs. Anyways, the food rewards, obviously great. You want food. That's what races are great for, is the food. Um, personally, obviously getting first is what you really want to do because 60 Elementium is awesome and two Legendaries, pretty sick. But getting second to third is pretty nice too. I mean, extra three million, um, food is great. Plus your individual rewards, which, uh, Mr. Man here smashing it with 5,000 points already. He's making me look like a total canoe down here at 300. But anyways, peeps, that's going to give you 5 million food when you reach your 5,000 point cap. So that's a lot of food, plus you come in second or third, you're going to get 3 million more. So like last race, I made 8 million food. That's a lot of food. That's a good amount of food, especially for newer players. Being able to get those points and help with the nodes is going to give you a lot of food to level your monsters, and it's very, very, very good to do so. Anyways, peeps, I think that's it for the race. Pretty much everything you need to know about it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, don't forget to leave those in the down there, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you liked the video, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button to show your support, and I will see you guys next time.